just seconds away. The Kings get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. That's just a great heads up read at center ice. Grabbed along the board by Huberto. LA's got a hold of the puck now. Taken by Fiala. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Fiala's got it against the boards. And that's blocked in traffic. Calgary's across the blue line. Takes the shot. Puck scooped up by Weger. Moves it to Kuzmenko. And that slides right out to center ice. Moves it up. Tries to get the puck to Giverno. Quick pass to Calgary. And he makes a save there. Carries it into the offense and then up the middle. The Kings play it on the boards. That's a smart heads up defensive play by Weger. Solid hit on the play and that knocks the puck off the stick. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We're still scoreless. The Flames win the draw. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Fires it. Steps up with the block. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. and loses control. Here's a short pass. Scores! Oh, these are the ugly ones where you find yourself on a highlight reel and it's not the one you want to be on, James. It's a real tough play that leads to a goal. Los Angeles has shifted momentum in period number one as they get the game's first goal. You really feel that the tempo changed leading up to that goal. Now they got to continue to press. Listen, you got a goal, you got to continue to drive play. And he takes the feed. Poked away by Kaliev. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Works it across to Kaliev. Dumps it into the O zone. The Flames will play it in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Guys, this power play, as we know, is ranked toward the bottom of the league. But that's not for us to remind them of. That's the coach's shot. They've got a huge opportunity here. We know they've been working hard. Let's see if they can put that work to the test. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Into the middle. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Looks to set up at the point now. Turns it away on the slap shot. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. More than half the frame has been played here. We got a tie game. LA's won the draw, they take possession here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Kavrikov. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides to be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Just a blistering one-timer shot from that high slot area that beats the goaltender here, James. But how does he get lost in coverage in that area? LA's gone up by one 
after that goal here in the first. Well, yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset. You got a little bit of jump to your step. You're more confident. Now you got to attack. You got to push when your opponent's down. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Solid check to slow him down. Moves the puck along the half wall. Puts it on now. Oh, great reflex pad stop by Riddick. Denies him again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Takes a blast. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James, but I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. I'm really impressed with this play, James. You've got to know where the puck is and where the shot is coming to, and you also have to fight for position. Once you're there with good time, you have to have great hand-eye coordination to be able to tap it and redirect it into the net. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we are all tied up in this one. LA's looking to break out. Quick feed to Kopitar. LA's got the puck against the half wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. And a little physicality ends that threat. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance at a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Riddick's the reason this game is still tied, Jane. He's been outstanding in making all the saves required to keep this game even. The Flames game control the puck against the wall. Moves it to Doughty. Here's a shot, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Well, the adrenaline's rushing. You're getting yourself to the right spot at the right time with an opportunity to go ahead in the game. And you hit the post and out. And he takes the feed. The Flames looking against the half wall. Loses his balance on the play. Centering feed. Oh, he's got a little drop. Oh, what a save. Markstrom's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Fiala's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Sends it in front, and another pass. A blast! Oh, a clutch save! Markstrom's able to get to position and negate that dangerous lot shot. Controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. The Flames are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. Quick pass to Kempe. From the right side, they gain the zone. And that's off a stick. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And he takes the pass. And now it's grabbed by Mangiapane. The Flames gain possession. Takes a shot. Taken along the wall by Kempe. Moves the puck to Kellyev. Got to figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Back to the point it goes. Makes the save. Handles the pass. They've got numbers here. Moves it to the middle. And he 
and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Stuffs him again. Puck grab by Anderson. Carries it in. Puck picked up by Peltier. And he takes the dish. The Flames carry it along the wall. The Kings gain possession in their own end. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Shot! And he makes the save. Broken up by a punch up. Grabs the puck in the corner. Big time save by Markstrom. Big stop by the keeper. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Cuts to the point. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. Delivered an absolute dagger here late in period number two, doubling up their lead. Well, you can hear and feel the energy just elevate after that goal, James. Everyone kind of standing up. The body language speaks for itself. Now it's about igniting another fire and trying to get another one. Comes to the front. Scores! At the buzzer, and they get one. Well, coaches always say the first minute and the last minute of every period are critical. Well, now they've got momentum heading into the next frame. they got to carry it forward. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Flames continue to hammer the accelerator here in the late stages of period number two. It's been attack, attack, attack all night long. Yeah, they had the puck on their stick. They've driven the net when they've had the opportunity. And, I mean, they just played well. They've been dominant tonight, James. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Kings haven't had any possession time, James, and as a result, they haven't created any offense. Their opponent has really taken it to them, really worn them down, put them on their heels, and they've spent a lot of time in their own zone. The Flames are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. Los Angeles plays it up ahead, and now he moves it quickly to Kopitar. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Huberdeau. Cut into the front of the net, and that ricochets off a twig in front. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. The Flames have been active all night in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this third. Calgary's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. LA's gained possession. Here's a short pass to Kopitar. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Huberdeau's got the puck. Here's a chance. Too much congestion in front. The Kings move it in. The Flames gain control of the puck. Taken by Huberdeau. The Flames take it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Sharon Bovich. Big save. Riddick's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Calgary's on the attack. And he takes a shot. Turned aside with the club by Riddick. Calgary's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Kempe's won the faceoff. Tries to get it over to Kellyev. LA's got the puck along the wall. 
Calgary's got possession of the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. Puts it on there. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. The Ducks are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Calgary's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Oh, another great save right there! Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Calgary's got the puck in their own end. Mangiapane's crossed the line and is on the attack now. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Flames lead at 5-2. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Dumps it in. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Stopped by the goaltender. There's back to that saves. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Flames have been handed two for interference. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are, well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Flames are going to serve two for tripping here. The Kings roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. In a five on three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Kopitar is ready for the draw on this man advantage. Los Angeles wins the offensive zone draw, and they'll start with the puck. Shuts the door with a great save. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Los Angeles looks to get things going now with the puck. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Huberto's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. LA's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Oh, he gets leveled right over the boards into the opposition bench. Man, the fans are all on their feet. They love to see this type of hits, but for the player who's launched into the laps of his opponent, his cheeks are a little red. James, he, he wants to get out of there. Love it. The Flames are in transition. With possession along the wall. Fires it on net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Rooney's up and ready to get back on the ice. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on, and a good, impressive habits there, and it leads to the kill. Through center along the wing. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. Sends the pass in front, and that's stopped. The Flames have trained tonight like a shooting late in the third. Calgary's won it, now they'll go on the attack. From center, they get into the attacking area. Makes the save on the slapper. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Uh, and the bleeding
shots, James, but it's only a band-aid right now. They're going to have to find a way to fix some of the deficiency if they want to continue to push upward. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing.